Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as the forces of Benched Healers Union retain control of the northernmost region of Morningdale. KOTT News crews caught up with union leaders on the steps of City Hall. Congratulations on your victory out there tonight. How do you feel it went out there, and would you like to take us through it? Um, I feel like it was a it was a pretty hard vic uh, hard fought victory. Um, I was actually surprised at the uh, the force that they brought with us. I was uh, I definitely was thinking that they were going to be a lot weaker, but um, their musket squad seemed to actually be a seemed to be a bit of a nuisance out there. I feel though they didn't have a lot of you know pressure on the points, but um, yeah, it was definitely a hard fought victory. Um, a lot of good brawls happened. Anyone whose efforts out there you might like to highlight? Um, I think I'd definitely like to shout out, uh, Octaves for the great shot calling like always. And, um, my bruiser, uh, Def not 6 before you can see him in the background, he, uh, got a 20-man grab on the B respawn, so I would like to shout them out. That's a pretty huge grab. In related news, there will be a one-on-one -on -one PvP tournament held next weekend, hosted by Hammer of Dawn. Event organizers, about 31 birds, requests that interested parties respondez s'il vous please using the link in the description. A significant prize pool is available for participants to win, so check it out if you're looking to test your metal. An unusual weather phenomenon today, but it's not the sun rising and setting as it always does. Rather, it's the two early evening invasions to look out for during drive time. Then, another pop-up of corruption, late. Two submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the Syndicate forces of Adra's Little Pog Champs assault the Covenant forces of Most Wanted for Crown and Kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. There appears to be at least twins in Aeternum, and this one is Adra with an R, and their crew of Pog Champs are bringing their best slammers to the fight. Most Wanted forces have been fending off Syndicate forces for three straight days. And though sheer numbers work in open world, with a roster of 50, they might right-click your left-click. Then, the Syndicate forces of Rogue Reavers attack the Covenant forces of Trap Chat for control of the bear-infested deep forests of Brightwood. The once unpolished passion of Rogue Reavers has been sharpened to a fine point as they've grown in number and purpose tonight. They march into Brightwood to execute their right of first purchase by factional association. As for the forces of Trap Chat, they've held the hamlet since exercising their right of first response during the mega storm last month, and in accordance, have not aggressed the neighboring regions. In other words, they've taken the stance of, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.